QC with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. So we're going to take a look at the E-mini S&P. I sent this out about 1 o'clock in the morning, uh, my time, which was 4 o'clock in the morning, New York. Rain started here, so I happened to be awake. Here's where we were. We had the big move down, of course, from up in this level right here that we talked about a little bit yesterday. And now what we've done is we come down and we made the ABCD here, and then we had this huge rally. Uh, starting uh, yesterday afternoon, rallied up, and I said in the newsletter right here, or in the video, you want to be a seller at 52.28 right here with a stop right above here, 52.39. Of course, we had a big move down, but look at this, folks. From the high that we made here to the low that we made here, we missed the exact 382 by one tick. That's one point in the S&P. That's what we missed it by, by one point. But look what we have going now. If you like ABCD, and some people do, there's your AB leg right here. There's your CD leg right here. And where is we? We is here at 5168. So we should get a rally. Now, what should that rally do? It's a Friday, and it's the down week, so that makes a little bit of a difference. But we could get two things happening. We could either make a 382 of this move right here, which is not very far away. That's only 16 points. We could make that very easily. Or... We could make a 382 off of this big one right here that would take us all the way up here, 20 handles, uh, yeah, just about 20 handle, 25 handles to this level right here and still be bearish. Now you ask yourself, well, Larry, which one should I do? Boys and girls, it's like golf. You don't know which club to you're going to use until you get closer to the hole, and this is what you have to do. you got to start out with this one right here, okay? Now your stop... You can see there's your 382 on this one. There's 10 points right there. So you're going to try it here for five points and five points here. But this is where this is where you really want to be looking right here. This would be a new high in the morning. You see how the morning high was right here, 5203. That's the new 382 at 5203. That would mean you'd be making a new high on the morning, and you'd be making a 382 retracement of that whole move. Boy, that's the one I would like to see. Now, that's 30 handles from where it is right now, so... That's not an easy one to look at, but this should hold because if we don't hold 5160, uh, it's going to be pretty nasty. Now let's look at this on a on a four-hour chart because I remember that 5160 was a really important number. Yeah, there it is right there again, 5155. You can see we've already come below the 78% level of that already. That's where we start going lower than where we are right now. Below this level right here, we're going we're gonna to take this out before the end of the day. And you can see there's that ABCD that we're looking at right here that we just looked at. There it is right there coming in right on the money. So we have to hold this low, 51.65. We're going to be lower. And not only that, would be lower for the week. Would that be hard to believe? Shut the front door and raise the rent. Now, let's take a look at the Dow E-mini. Same thing was happening with the Dow E-mini. So as we get up here and take a look here, I'm going to show you. These are the charts that I sent out in a video that was early in the morning. Now, here was the Dow Jones. Okay, now notice the Dow Jones where the S&P was just making a 61% retracement. Okay, look what the Dow was doing. It was making 51% uh, 50 retracement. But you see on the way down now, the Dow has not made its price objective. The S&P has, but the Dow has not. So we could easily get down to this level. That would be down in, woo, would be another 200 some points. That would be pretty nasty. Now, as we look at this, we're just going to go to a 15 minute to show you the ABCD as we head right down. And there it is right here. I know you get tired of ABCD, folks, but get used to it, baby. This is where you go. Instead of going to the ATM, the ATM comes to you. So there's your low in the Dow Jones. So that should hold in there also. So that's what we're paying attention to. Now, just for kicks and giggles, what we want to do here, we've got one. We, here's another one that we were looking at that we mentioned in the video. This was the cattle. We said sell the 382 in cattle. And there it was right here at 88. The high was 88.42. Uh, it went against you $160. 
and now it's in your favor $300. So you'd be at break even right now. And if that is correct, and we think that it could be because this is a big, big move right here, misses our target price by 50 cents. And look where we are now. We're already down four hand, three handles. So it tells us we're most probably headed lower. So we'll keep using this strategy until something is different. And we'll look, there's your A, B, C, D pattern uh, right here. And that would take you into this level right here, which would be 184, which would be down considerable. If all you have to do to get this in vogue is just get this to close below here, and you'd be looking at another three handles without too much uh, trouble uh, to the downside. Now, here's one that is not quite working, and I want to show it to you because we did it, and it's not hurt us at all, but I want to show you the reasoning behind it because I still think it's correct. <laughs> what should I know? We were looking for a 382 in the crude oil last night, and there it was. It went 180 dropped only $400, went all the way up to almost a 786, then came all the way back down again, okay? Now remember, when you're on these, you gotta risk 60 points. So your stop would have been, your stop would have been up here, it wouldn't have taken you out. But look, since that time, you've had another ABCD form. There it is right there, there's your low right here, there's your high, there's your other high right in here, coming in at 4140. Now remember, this one back here, do you remember that one? Because that's the big daddy rabbit. That's the one that's on the daily 518165. You remember we were talking about that yesterday, right there at that 8165. The market came all the way down uh, $1,200 before it finally had a rally up. I basically had my stop at break even, so I ended up getting out at break even, which I do quite often. <laughs> It's better than losing, but not much better. Anyway, that's what we're looking. I think we're at a major top here in the uh, crude oil. Now, let, let me give you my two cents worth because if you pay more than that, you've overpaid. Let's take a look at the heating oil because that is a very important one, and it is setting at the proverbial moment of truth. As we look at this right here, here's heating oil on the 60-minute chart. You can see here we've been setting here at the same level. 73.40, 273.40. The high has been 273.70. Okay, that completes this A B C D right here. You see it right there, 73.31. This is 73.40. This should be it. It really should. Now, if it's not, it's going to get above that, and so is crude oil. But look at the risk that you have here. The risk is extremely small. So we have one other thing to check on this, and that is the old RBOB, the gasoline. For those of us that still use gasoline engines, which I happen to be one, we'll cover Tesla in just a moment. So hold on just a second. Our RBOB is uh, right here. There's the April RBOB. See if it's leading. Ah, it's leading, and look where it is. Oh, my goodness. The line in the sand, boys and girls. There it is. There's the line in the sand. Move it over the blue line right there. 272. So far, we've been to 271.60. So we're 60 cents away from that move right here. Move it over just a little bit because we got, well, what we need to do is we got to get four hours in here. Otherwise, we're going to miss something and we don't want to miss anything. There's where we want to see. Okay, here's where we are with the RBOB. And uh, I think we're making a pretty big move here in the crude oil, getting ready to go to the downside. Take a break. 877-927-6648. Billy Ray Valentine Capricorn. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education. Educating investors. 
The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hey folks, here's another, uh, this is a 13 minute gold chart. Here's the four o'clock in the morning time when we were uh, making this video. We put in the ABCD pattern right here. There was the 61% retracement level of the last high. That was right back there. You can see this is the 61. And the $64 question was, do I sell it here at 75 or do I wait till 77? Well, I sent this out and I said, okay, I'm going to sell it here because it made this small ABCD pattern. Now, this was before it happened. So when it did happen, it did get filled and it came down, stopped right at the 78% level, rallied up to exactly 61%. Here's where we are right now. Okay, now that's that's all we were trying to do was to pick out short-term trading patterns so that you have something to do and just not roll the dice and try to get a little bit a uh, little bit ahead of the market. So that's the main one that we're paying attention to here uh, today. The corn is still uh, still working quite nicely. We need to talk about that just a little bit. In fact, more than a little bit. There's the corn today still hasn't got anywhere above our sell signal, but the one we need to watch on, and this is the one with the what I really like the best, and that is the wheat. And we keep moving a tiny, tiny bit lower, okay? Now, here's where old lows were right back here. Now, remember the magic, well, not magic number. Let's get the daily up here. We've gone through this so many times with so many people, and this is from our good friend Jim and Val Harper. I'm doing, I'm doing the May wheat. That's what I'm watching right here. And the number that I'm looking at is... This is the old low right here, which was 23. So I'm taking, and this is a daily. So I'm taking this distance right here and I'm measuring what the expansion number is going to be. Much like I would do right here. I want to see what that expansion number is to the downside. Because if it's there where it makes a new low, then I know I don't have to risk very much at all. Where did it come in? Right at the 127. The distance here was 14 cents. That's certainly acceptable. Okay, now we've already hit this number, 427. So all I'm doing now is I'm watching this thing like a hawk. And the reason why is, and very simple, looking at this on the long-term weekly, I think we're getting ready to see one heck of a large move. Remember, just 16 months ago, we were trading, exactly 18 months ago, we were trading at $13.00 almost $14 a bushel, 13, well, 
<laughs> it was 1361 was the actual high 1363 and now we're trading at just almost under five dollars we've dropped eight dollars a bushel folks now people are going to stop eating cookies breads and and the crackers and stuff shut the front door not a chance so let's look at this on this hourly chart and uh, look at this as my free gift to you in case it happens we were looking at this right here we saw that we were right on the old 382 remember from a few days ago we stopped there now we're coming down that's leading us to this level down here there's the old low at 23 so all I want to do now is I want to move it over just a little bit because I want to see the expansion of this rally this was a very good rally folks this rally 30 cents that's a harmonic number in wheat so all I'm doing now and I you know I don't know anything about the fundamentals you know what I don't really care because it doesn't make any difference so there's what we're watching right here and the number here is 515 I'm looking at 518 is basically what I'm trying to uh, to line up pretty good is 518 to uh, 514 and we're going to be looking to buy this probably Sunday or Monday there's our there's our number right here new low here taking this out would be right at this 1.6 one eight level which is 22 that's that's where my original buy is and it's still setting there at 522 I'm taking that and if we and if we get if I get filled on that I'm going to be risking 10 cents because 22 down here to see 22 and 8 is 4 oh my goodness this is an easy one stop is at 12 gee this is a perfect trade uh oh there's no such thing all right let me write this down Pay attention, folks. If you like ABCD's Fibonacci, don't care whether you like me or not. Doesn't make any difference. But there's your 1.618 number is Jim at Bell Harbor. I hope you're listening, Bubba, because this is what I'm doing. This is for you. 5.22 is what it'll do. 5.22. I'm going to buy the wheat at 5.22, and I'm going to put the stop at 5.12, and I'm going to be a farmer. So that's what I'm doing right there. And I've been waiting for this number for a very long time. And I don't know whether it's going to happen or not. But by golly, we're getting pretty close. Ten days ago, we made this low down here at 23 and a half. And we're only four and a half cents away. It didn't make this trip down here not to take these stops out, in my opinion. So, of course, my opinion is like an armpit. Everybody has one. And it usually doesn't smell very good. So let's be careful. This is what this five... This is what this 512 is for. Keep you in the game. Don't always work. You know, what if Putin comes out and, sell, and sells more wheat than he has? He's already been selling more than that. But what he's doing is he's trying to keep income from coming out of the Ukraine, from what the fundamentalists are saying. Who knows? Who cares? I'm looking at the technical picture, and that's what we're looking at here in the crude oil, uh, in, the, in the wheat. Now, let's take one other one here that we need to be watching, which is the... Uh, Hold on just a second here. i got to get these all straightened up. I need to go to – I can get rid of this one because we're done with that. we got to go to the soybeans. we got to look at November beans. They're backing off just a little bit, just like the corn. Beans look the best of anything, of course, because they're all protein, and uh, the uh, folks over in China sure need the protein. So there's where we are so far. They've hardly backed off at all. You see we had a little bit of a pullback here. Uh, today was that a 382 are you kidding me don't tell me that please say no nope I'm wrong it is yep it went right to the well went a little below the 382 but all it did on the way back was come up to the 618 so I still th this would really be nice if it could do this now you've got a spot here and you've got a really big move here so this is a major cycle bottom here from this uh, uh, on the daily chart it's a hourly chart but it's good for the daily also there's your ABCD would take you, oh, right down here, about 20 cents lower. Oh, that would be nice. All we got to do now, you see this uh, 1166? If 1166 is the 382 off of the low, that's going to be a go. Here we go. We're going to find out. Are you ready, boys and girls? They're spinning the wheel now at the old lottery place. And from the low we made here at 11, oh, 1122. We went all the way up to $12 a bushel almost, and the 382 comes in at 1165, and this is 1166, so you want to buy at 1165 a bushel. 
That would be a beauty. So we're going to write that one down for the prosperity. Or you can barbecue me, whichever you like. 1165 should be the low in, uh, let's make it 1169. That's a 382. That's 0 0.382. 0 0.382. And uh, again, you'd be risking right below here, which would be 11.59. That would be well. You got a little bit more than beans because they they're a little more volatile. You have to risk uh, 15 cents in that, so one five. Take it out of 45. Your stop would have to be down in here somewhere. All right, let's take a break. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Stay tuned, hopefully, for Jeff Bartoleone. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archive live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. This portion of Trade What You See is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Okay, we have our favorite Top Gun pilot in the house. Look at Ike. He's up there against Mars, Jupiter, and all these other planets right behind him. Folks, pay attention. Pay attention. 
You see that chart there where it says KRE, and you see that top of that little blue pyramid there right before the market collapsed? A week before that happened, we have the author of that trade in the house <laughs> right now, Jim Bartoleone. How are you doing, partner? Larry, I'm great. How are you? Uh, recovering, pal. Recovering. Lost my best friend last week. So. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm really sorry about uh, yeah. Jimbo uh, graduating, but I know how close you guys were, yeah. so please... Please hey, accept my you, condolences, yeah, man. I know. We're all going to be hey, there one day, right? <laughs> I hope not. Hey, Bart, let me ask you, what size uh, shoe did you wear? Ten and a half. Uh-oh. I think I might be able to help you out. Uh, 30 years ago, we bought uh, ostrich boots down in uh, Tucson here where they have a boot maker here. We paid two grand a piece for them. There were uh, Jay Cross by and Jimmy. Jimmy wore his once. I wore mine, I think, twice. And... Uh, I think I'll see if I can the, – the, the family doesn't know what to do with them. I'm going to give them to you. They should fit you perfectly. That would be amazing, Larry. Thank you. Yeah. I'll yeah. keep it going. That's okay. It's awesome. only Thank it's you. only 1995, Jim, so send me a check. Okay. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> okay. Go ahead. Fire away. Let's get serious here. Yeah, Larry, you know, uh, I just wanted to – something's going on with the banks, right? They haven't participated in this rally. All of the Gartley cells have worked. Lower lows. Yeah, we'll be hearing about them in a couple of weeks, if not sooner, right? I mean, look at that. They're just not participating. So I'm like, we got to keep an eye on that. Um, that could be the canary in the coal mine. And those Gartleys have just been beautiful. Look at that. I mean, yeah, two in a sure row, have. bam. So yeah. I just wanted to show that. And Larry, I got to tell you, the reason I put the planets behind me, this one's going to blow people's minds. And it's some of it's the chart, other stuff going on. You're just going to be blown away. So um, I put this one up here, DraftKings. Um, just because it measured moves. Every single move on this chart is a measured move. I mean, it's just, it's just, it's just unbelievable, right? So I think we got a nice short coming or we, we should be short with DraftKings. But I mean, the symmetry and the harmony of this chart is unbelievable, isn't it? Every single yeah, move sure is, is one yeah. of these measured moves. So take a look at that one. Um, we've been watching this one for a while. We, I'm really... It, it, hope hope is my strategy, right? But again, this is a continuous <laughs> contract, so it might be a little different on the different forward months and stuff. But, um, you know, the bottom line is this blue measured move, I'm really waiting for wheat to get down there. And then I'm going to take a crack at it. Um, Mr. Orange measured move seems to be important, right? Look at that. So uh, maybe the buy is actually just going to be right around the 786. But we're getting close on wheat. And on that note, um, I took a loss on my natural gas trade. I've never seen a, a pattern. Remember that big monthly pattern we have? Um, fail like that, right? That was like, really? I, I was shocked. But um, for, for those who were trying that natural gas, you know, what are you going to do? The, the probability, the pattern was perfect in both price and time. So that, that one was one of those ones that made me shake my head. But look at that wheat. I think we're getting close. Yeah. I, I don't see hey, the Jim, 707 you want, Jim, stopping it. I really Jim, wanted to finish that measure move. Go ahead, Larry. Sorry. I was going to say, if you want to see patterns fail, listen to my radio show. It happens every day. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know which ones are going to work and which ones don't. So let's continue, please. Absolutely. No no idea. Um, here's Mr. Meta. Um, Ooh, look out, look Gertrude. That, right? Yeah. I mean, that is Whoa. just perfect. And then the actual exact top was the dash blue line, which was the last move up into the high. Isn't that crazy? Wow. wow. So um, Meta Meta's looking like a good short. And um I'm trying to look for the square out on from September 4th, but I just I haven't had enough time to look at it. But um, I know we're all looking at Meta and Facebook, but look at that. I mean, those measured moves are perfect. What a launch from the bottom, too. Holy smokes. Yeah. 80 to $500 something. This is insanity. That's but, more um, than 10%. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, Larry, I got to tell you, this one's going to blow you away. So... We, we've we studied the Great Pyramid, and, and if you're doing it, looked at any of your books, the Great Pyramid's all over it. Um, Joe DiNapoli has it on the front of his book on his website. And so um, what I can tell everybody is it's, it's, it's being blown apart. And I'll just get on with it, right? So first off, this is on the left is a picture of the north wall of the King's Chamber. They have found every single zodiac and the Deccans aligned perfectly with where they are in the sky in the king's chamber 
along with, as you can see, DNA is scribbled all over the King's Chamber in the Great Pyramid. Uh, just let that sink in. Yeah. Isn't that incredible? Yeah, it sure is. Um, it's it's incredible. So then when you look to the right, what, what they figured out is that the King's Chamber is, is essentially the perfect great year calculator. Um, the great year being, you know, the procession of the equinoxes, it's like 24,000, 25,920 years. And so using the air shafts of the Great Pyramid, they were, they were able to reconstruct time and basically align all of the different events that have occurred throughout the, the saga of man with the Great Pyramid and specifically the sarcophagus and where it sits. It's the perfect time calculator. Um, and so this individual, for those listeners and everything, Robert Edward Grant is someone you just got to follow because he's uncovering all of this. In fact, he found a 24 note musical scale um, that essentially if it's played, he thinks can activate our DNA. So the reason I bring this up is because this stuff that's happening here, I mean, just take a look at that left, um, you know, picture. It, that it's is schematic. Yeah, wow, it's incredible. Yeah. <clears throat> Great wow. pyramid is, um, I sent you this chart. Well, the New York Stock Exchange Index monthly, you know, people draw trend lines and, and you know, connect lows to highs. And so the low on the New York Stock Exchange Index was on October 3rd, 1974, basically 50 years ago, right? And um, so honestly, I was just kind of hanging out. I did a meditation and I, I literally kind of got heard or whatever, hey, go look at the New York Stock Exchange Index. And as soon as I saw it, I knew. And what I knew was two days ago, um, we hit 1,000 or 18,059 was the high. I think it spiked up like a couple points above it, but basically 18,059 was the price high. And that was exactly 18,059 calendar days from the all time low. We wow. just completed a 50 year square out of price and time um, on Wednesday and uh, the market's been down ever since. So is this the top? Of course, I have no idea. Is this significant resistance? I can tell you, Larry, I imagine that in our lifetimes, we're probably never going to see a square out this big. And I don't think many people even, I bet you there's five people in the world who are watching this. And I'm crazy yeah. enough to have looked at it. Yeah, but you're crazy, all right, crazy day, smart. Stay with us. Smart out, Larry. Um, Stay with us. We've got a few prices. bills to play. we got a few bills to play. Stay with us. Jim Bartoglioni. Direct from the King's Chamber. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of Basil's educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. 
All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Dot com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. We're back with Jim Bartleone. Uh, Bart, I could literally stay five hours talking about the stuff that you're talking. I mean, I don't know that much about it, but the things of the schematic and the pyramid and uh, all these you know how these patterns all fit together and stuff like that i'll tell you i i've been so excited about that over my lifetime in 1988 uh, we went to uh, jay crossman and i went to um, giza and we had a chance to go in yeah to get, we had a chance to go inside the king's chamber this this wow. this was before they, they shut it down since that time but um the, I wouldn't go because I'm I'm claustrophobic. I, I won't even I'm going to have anything to do with spelunkers, you know, these cave guys or rock climbers. I said, no, I'll be outside. You, if you come back, I'll see. You. If not, good luck in the next life. But uh, he went in for about an hour, and uh, he said it was uh, really an amazing experience. He said he was tingling all the time he was in there. He didn't know if it was a psychological effect or what, but didn't me. I didn't want to have anything to do with it, you know. So. Uh, forget yeah, it <laughs> it's, it's really amazing with uh, yeah. with it, it, it and yeah. so i i you know what we're dealing with in these patterns and vibrations right is basically mm -hmm. what i'm showing on the chart right now right so i i with this square out i mean it might get blown away and quite frankly i'd really like it to go up to that final blue measured move and that's about 500 points higher but who knows right um so i'm just waiting on a gartley sale to come when it when it comes back right and i'll give it a shot but yep it's just it's just really amazing 18,059 days later the market hit 18,059 and, and pivoted and so when we start thinking about it larry right this is a non-tradable index right it's an index of that's over right 5,000 yep, you know stocks and, you know it's got everything it's global big caps small caps you know you just you name it right so all of these stocks on the new york stock exchange are being sold and bought and everything all day long right and then they somehow you know they put the, put it into the algorithm and they come up with a price so and it's changed right companies have gone yeah. out of business companies have been That's added right. you, you know the whole so yeah it doesn't matter yeah. <laughs> it used to be yeah, it used days. to be traded heavily yeah because it called it was called the knife because uh, paul Tudor oh, Jones really? was, I didn't know that. okay yeah he was he was really heavily involved at that and then what happened was they just moved it over for etfs that was basically you know this blackrock and uh, state street and vanguard mm -hmm. they basically you know put it into a index so that they could move their monies back and forth and then they base those monies on that index so that's why it's so important Oh, I had no idea. Okay, yeah. yeah. So, I mean, he, 50 years later, price. <laughs> and, and here's the thing, Larry. I knew it was going to hit it that day, and I was mm -hmm. watching it on a one-minute chart. And so that was just like an amazing event for me. I'm like, wow, I've been waiting. We've all been waiting this for 50 years, right? And there it goes, and bank. And so the whole mindset of everyone, the collective mindset, all shifted from buying to selling as it hit that number, per mm -hmm. perfectly in a. 50-year square out what yeah hey, <laughs> so Jim, Larry, you like told to, me yeah. if, we, if the day we're no longer shocked and surprised and amazed it's time <laughs> to hang it up this has blown yeah, me away they, and then i, I take yeah. into account what they're discovering in the king's chamber so my my friend who i surf with i was surfing with him this morning actually very cold today larry um he is in charge of um he's the gm for cancer research at illumina 
um, which is doing all, you know, the, manipulating the DNA and targeted molecules. It's really heady. And I'm always messing with them because I'll show them this stuff. And I'm like, you really don't know what you're doing. So I, I set them up. The other day we were at the pizza joint after uh, surfing. I go, hey, Kevin, when was DNA, you know, when was the helix nature of DNA structure, you know, you know, discovered? And he kind of, you know, oh, ha, 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 1957. And I just kind of shake my head. I go, then why is it all written all over the king's chamber, which is probably over 10,000 years old? And his chin just dropped. So, I mean, Larry, we don't know anything. Just yeah. find the ABCD and let it rip, right? <laughs> That's all I know, buddy. ABCD and let it be. Yeah. That's all I know. I, tell and, sometimes I love being I on the I... show. And, Larry, I know uh, – I. I want to reiterate again, um, you know, I send my condolences to the Twentyman family and, and to you, man, and uh, yeah. that's really cool. So you got his ashes spread out in the Pacific Ocean? I didn't go out that far. I got to the pier, but uh, okay. they got him out there. They told me. I didn't see him when they came back, but that was it. I okay. basically traded the night before. I had him sitting next to me and had a great night trading that night. Oh, he was, fantastic. Yeah, I could, I could still hear him laughing and stuff, and it was uh, – you know the sad part, Jim, or really – in fact, I just talked to his brother, Mark. When I went there, the door answered. Someone answered the door at Jim's place, and it was his brother, Mark, and they are absolutely carbon copies, and I almost had a heart attack. They're oh so much alike. Wow. He's a little taller, but, you know, Jimmy shrinks as we get older, but he wears the same cowboy shirt. He had the same bald head. His voice was exactly the same, and when he saw me and saw my uh, – reaction he said i'm mark and i said oh my god i said why didn't someone tell me he says we never really thought of it he said i'd never met you before i met his other brother lee who was the mm -hmm. cia guy black ops dude but oh, uh, wow. god you talk about being scary oh man i when i was I tell uh, you it's coming <laughs> oh shut the front door and raise the rent hey listen buddy i really appreciate you having on and anytime you got something good let us know because we love you to hear from you thanks and um you man, we, we got to get together oh, how, do they, how do the folks later. how do the folks get on the Bart's charts if they'd like to see Absolutely. what you do Just go to the website bartscharts.com there's a sign up page or you can email me bart at bartscharts.com and uh, i answer all emails it might not be that day but um yeah we're doing some great stuff larry and it's always a pleasure so okay. thanks has jj decided where he's going to college yeah he's trying to he's, he wants to study neuroscience and uh, get into ucsd so um oh wow yeah. cool I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm pretty excited for him so ho hopefully he'll Very be able good. to pull that off Okay. Thanks a lot, Bart. Thanks, Larry. Keep, keep the faith, best. brother. Yeah, Cheers. well, you are too, pal. See you later, folks. Oh, Jim Bartleone of Bart's Charts. Okay, let's take a little uh, gander of what's going on with some of these markets here and get back on the web, um, get our charts back up. Hold, it'll only take me a second to get these up here, so bear with me, and we will get this moving and should be ready to go here. Bada bing, bada boom, and then all I have to do is hit this, and we'll see where we are with some of these things. The main one we want to be looking at is that S&P to see if it's holding that level. Let's hold on. Oh, i got to do something. Sorry, folks. just takes me a second to get these charts so that I can see them quickly. Uh, yep, yeah, we're still holding. By golly, that's good. Let's get down to that eight minutes so we can see. We've held that bottom so far. Now let's just test our theory of 382 just for the heck, for just for kicks and giggles. No one will deny this is not a very strong trending day down. Is that correct? Okay, boys and girls, let's just see if old 382 will do what it do. There's your high right here, and there's your low right here, and your 382 was at 5180. It is now 5175. Below here, folks. It's lights out, and maybe Jim's prediction of Wednesday being the high could have been the high, but I don't know. All I'm saying is that if you look at that copper chart, boy, is that a powerful ABCD. And when you stop and think, it's only the 50% retracement of the high from 2021. That is not a bullish nature for copper. That's but you know it's up 22 cents for the week. So you know what do I know? And also what we were talking with the Jim. Uh, well, we've got a break coming up here now, but uh, we're going to go through the week one more time when we come back because I put too many nickels into the slot machine here, and I'm afraid if I don't get uh, if I don't get some simulation here, we're going to be in big trouble here. Okay. <laughs>
If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento. A pro's pro with over 50 years of experience, Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom Daly as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee, so what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. Attention all opening call subscribers. Next Tuesday, March 19th, Basil Chapman will be hosting a live 90-minute webinar for all subscribers. From 4 to 5.30 p.m., Basil will take subscribers through an educative journey, giving insight into how he will approach this volatile market. Basil Chapman's opening call newsletter has a 30-day money-back guarantee for all first-time subscribers, and all subscribers get access to his trove of webinar archives, so you have nothing to lose. Go to the Newsletters tab of TFNN.com and sign up today. We'll see you March 19th. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, this is the week. This is the order, 522. The good part about this is it's free. Most of the people have to pay for this, but I'm putting it on the air here because I firmly believe that this is a big one. And I hopefully I'll get a few customers out of this for TFNN and for myself. There's the old low right back here. I think we're going to take that out. The risk is it's going to collapse. Well, look when they took this low, what happened? Boom. Something happened, right? I think the same thing is going to happen this time. No matter what, this is where you have to put your stop because I don't know for sure. But you know what, folks? Nobody else does either. That's the whole key uh, to doing this. And uh, believe me, I'm wrong a lot, and I'm right a lot, and I don't care in between. Well, I do care, unfortunately, too much sometimes. But uh, just keep trading, keep your stop in, follow ABCD. It'll get you to the promised land. And uh, Fibonacci is a big help along with that, along with the sacred numbers, and also the Lucas numbers. We've seen some of these great calls at Stan Harley has made for us but anyway we're really close down here i wouldn't be surprised here being on a friday that we get down to this level in fact what i'd like to see is to get there right on the close to get filled there at 522 and then we'll see i don't want to get filled at 512 but if i do i'll look at it again if i get another a b c d to the downside because folks i could be dead wrong we could be looking at 24 cents lower here in wheat without any trouble at all and i don't want to play that game you see that? There's your ABCD down way down here. 
not me. I'm going to be out here. I'm going to risk 10 cents. I'm not going to risk 15. I'm going to risk 10. So if it gets below here, I'm out. Buying at 1522, I'm out at 512, either here or there. What will be my profit objective? Don't know, but the first thing I want to do is be able to cover what my original loss, my original uh, uh, stop loss would be, which would be $500. And that's nothing when wheat is moving 30 cents at a time. So this is it. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may God bless. Thank our guests this week. Try to do something nice for your neighbor, folks. A lot of people are having trouble. May God bless. Mm -hmm.